Anything you want to add to Kirk's view of the world data ecosystem? And maybe you could talk a little bit about how investors use data. Absolutely. Uh, hi, I'm M. Um, I'm M. Science. <laughs> I'm Sanaina. I run partnerships at M-Science. I've been with the company for nine years now. Um, it's been really fascinating to see how the data landscape has evolved over the past, you know, 10, 15 years. Um, you know, back in 2016, when you would meet people and talk about data, you had to explain what data was. And here we are sitting on a plethora of data sets, you know, and we're trying to make sense of all of this data that we have right now. Um, I think where M Science is, you know, highly differentiated is the fact that we have, you know, homegrown analysts who not only really understand, you know, companies, they understand the themes behind the companies, they understand much more than the fundamentals of what, you know, what happens with these companies. Uh, they are able to articulate and tell stories behind the data. Like consumer transaction data can give you top line revenue, like take Chipotle for example. Uh, yeah, it's great to like, you know, I get the top line revenue metric of Chipotle, but people want to know like what's in the basket. Like are people buying guacamole or queso? Is queso, the addition of queso actually moving the stock? Chipotle released a new protein. Like is that new protein moving, actually moving the stock? And that's where our, our, our analysts are able to articulate the why behind why a certain KPI makes sense and how to use that as well with our clients. So our clients really appreciate that and um, they're not readily available. You know, they've got a lot of experience doing that. And um, the, the fact that we have such a varied set of data assets and we're able to use ML and AI on top of the data and we have these analysts create such a unique value proposition for our clients. So speaking of the future, uh, Sunaina, um, you know, there's this concept that data is the backbone of AI, or you need a data strategy uh, first before you can have an AI strategy. So what is M-Science's perspective on AI going forward? Yeah, um, so the way I look at it, I'm looking at it as three buckets, right? So the first thing is you need data, and I think uh, from a data perspective, I think we've done a lot of work in getting different kinds of data sets, not just in the US, but from a global perspective as well. Uh, you know, you're starting to see data proliferation in outside of the US, like UK and Asia back especially. So we've done a good job of curating data assets across the globe. And then second thing is, you know, technology. We've been using ML for data tagging for several years now. And um, you know, thanks to the big tech, we have a lot of tools to implement AI and to play with AI. There's a lot that we don't know about AI. Uh, and AI is here to stay. And if you're not playing with it right now, then you're going to be left behind. And I think um, what uh, has put us in the forefront is you know, we've already created analyst curated clean data feeds. And a lot of companies are sitting on data which is not clean and it's going to be so hard for them to like clean the data and make the data usable. I think at M Science we've done a really good job of creating those, you know, clean data feeds, which is pretty much going to be the backbone of AI. So we have a strategy in place, you know, uh, I think going into 25, we're going to be implementing these strategies and we're going to figure out a way to generate revenue from those strategies. And I think that's what you're going to see going into 25, 26. And thanks to the Googles and the open AIs and the Microsofts of the world, they're building all of the tools, they're giving us, you know, great uh, reasons to like learn from them. And I think we're going to learn, we're going to adapt. But I feel like we're in a really good position to move forward.